Hi everyone, welcome to Wedra Studio. Today, we are going to talk about scandium. So now let's get straight to it. Scandium is an element that belongs to the group 3 of the periodic table. With an atomic number of 21, a typical scandium atom has 21 protons, 21 electrons and 24 neutrons. Scandium was discovered by the Swedish chemist, Lars Fredrik Nilsson in 1879, through the spectral analysis of the minerals euxinite and gadolinite. It was named after Scandinavia, the region in Europe where it was first discovered. Did you know that its existence was originally predicted by Dmitry Mendeleev 10 years before its actual discovery in the periodic table? Despite its discovery, 99.9% .9 pure scandium wasn't isolated until 1960. Scandium is relatively rare in the Earth's crust, with an abundance of about 22 parts per million, making it the 50th most abundant element on Earth and the 23rd most common element in the Sun. Scandium is not found free in nature, but is often found combined in trace amounts in rare minerals alongside other elements such as yttrium, lanthanum, and thorium. Although scandium is often grouped with the rare earth elements, it is not as rare as some of the others in the group. However, it is still relatively scarce in Earth's crust, compared to more abundant metals like iron and aluminum. Did you know that scandium is believed to be formed through stellar nucleosynthesis, specifically in supernovae explosions? This means that the element you find on Earth today may has cosmic origins billions of years ago. Scandium is a soft transition metal with a silvery appearance. It is fairly stable in air, but will slowly develop a slightly yellowish or pinkish cast when oxidized by air. Scandium has a melting point of 1541 degrees Celsius and a boiling point of 2836 degrees Celsius. It is a good conductor of electricity, though not as efficient as some other metals like copper or silver. Scandium is moderately malleable and ductile, meaning it can be hammered or drawn into thin wires without fracturing easily. Under normal conditions, finely divided or powdered scandium react with water, releasing hydrogen. It is susceptible to weathering and dissolves slowly in most dilute acids. Did you know that scandium is the element that gives the aquamarine its beautiful light bluish green color? Scandium, combined with the mineral barrel, creates an aquamarine. Due to its unique properties, scandium has a variety of uses and applications across different industries. It is commonly alloyed with aluminum to create lightweight yet strong materials suitable for aerospace applications. They are used in aircraft components, such as fuselage structures, wing frames, and landing gear, as well as in rocket components for space exploration. Due to their strength, durability, and lightness, the alloys are also used to create high-performance, lightweight sport equipment, including baseball bats and bicycle frames. Scandium radioisotopes have potential applications in nuclear medicine for positron emission tomography imaging and targeted radiotherapy. They emit positrons, which can be detected by PET scanners to visualize biological processes in the body or used to deliver targeted radiation therapy to cancer cells. Scandium iodide is used as a component in high-intensity discharge lamps, such as metal halide lamps, to produce bright and efficient light sources. About 80 kilograms of scandium is used in metal halide lamps globally per year. Scandium is considered to be non-toxic, although there have been studies suggest that some of its compounds might be carcinogenic. So it would be better to handle the compounds with extreme care. Well, that's all for today and thanks for watching. If you like our video, please click the like and subscribe button below. We'll see you in the next video.